like to have a little pocket handbook in the United States Constitution. Not only am I running for the office of sheriff, but I'm also a member of the OB. 29 years ago, the law Twenty-nine years ago, as a law enforcement officer, I took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the state of Indiana. I noticed when somebody said, if it, how many folks have read the, the state constitution, I was the only one with my hand up. Folks, I think it's very important that you read that. Because as Jerry pointed out, it talks about the Bill of Rights. Why did they do that? Why did, our, why did Jonathan Jennings push that issue in 1816? There's a very specific reason behind that. And I'm not going to try to come up here and give you a history lesson. Uh, I can do that quite easily. I do that at Purdue University and some other places, but I'm not going to do that to you this evening. But I want you to take a real close look at the, at the shirt that I'm wearing. I'm a member of the Oath Keepers, which is a member of law enforcement, retired and present military, and also firefighters who represent and truly believe this document right here. Now, what that means and what that should mean to you is that any law enforcement officer out there, thank you very much. Any law enforcement officer out there <laughs> that has taken that oath understands what that's all about. Every person from the military, as Jerry said, has, has been told that, yeah, you took an oath to uphold this, but you don't have it. But I'll tell you what, I am so thankful, and I think we should be too, for the guys that actually do that for us. Because they do make sure that this, this document still rights with us. So everybody out here, you know, we have a big problem right now with communication. How many people here know their neighbors? Hey, do you know who they are on a personal basis? Can you go over and talk to them have a cup of coffee? Folks, that's how things are done. That's how it was done 200 years ago when these items were written because communities stuck together. They stayed together as a community. Different towns, different villages, states, and now we're one great big happy country. Well, we've got to bring this back to the United States, and that's our Constitution, and that's the way it is. What we have to do is this. You have to look up and understand what this is about. I'm going to give you a very simple reason. Another reason why I absolutely joined the Oath Keepers was that about a few years ago, uh, the federal government came down and wanted to come up and serve a, a search warrant on a gentleman that was arrested for domestic violence battery 25 years ago. Now, their goal was to come in and serve a search warrant on this man's house and take 25 guns out of his residence because he had been convicted of a domestic violence battery 25 years ago. Not present, not had he ever had any problems with the law enforcement since then, but for that time, there was no limit set on those type of search warrants. And those federal agents have to stop by a sheriff's office and notify the sheriff that he's gonna go serve or do something in his county. State of Indiana, by the way, make sure that happens. So I guess what I'm saying is that if, if you have someone that understands this, that's representing you, that you put into office, it should mean a lot to you and your rights. Because the person that understands the United States Constitution understands their rights and should have the ability to make sure that those that they elect to office understand them as well and respect them for you. All right. Just a real quick note. I know that you've seen some bad publicity on the Oath Keepers. Um, I can't say enough about them. Uh, there are over 10,000 members, and at this point in time, uh, I just recently got another member last week who's a retired Army colonel from the Pentagon. He spent 25 years as a tactician, and had spent two different tours in, uh, overseas, and, and I actually convinced him because people like uh, Bill O'Reilly consider us a bunch of uh, radicals. I, I'm sorry. I, I, if I look like a radical, I apologize. <laughs> if we're, if we're radical because we understand and we, and we support the Constitution of the United States and we're willing to defend it, then there's a problem. I'm a radical. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but if you have any more information, is anyone here that's prior law enforcement, prior military, interested in joining, please stop by and see me. I have some paperwork. Uh, what that means for you out here in the public, that I'm willing to give up what it takes, my position, everything that I have to support this document in whatever form it's written on. Yeah. Thank you.
All right, everybody. It seems like we're going to have one little small speaker before we take the uh, oath keeper ceremony. Before we do the oath keeper ceremony, and uh, I want to present to you George Edwards, uh, my good friend. Yay! Hey guys, this will only be for like uh, one minute. But I'm, I'm here with Students for Liberty. We have a sign-up sheet um, to, to, for email addresses and stuff like that. But we're doing this big project. It's called the Bastiat Book Project. And if you're interested in the ideas of liberty that you've heard tonight, um, we have books uh, with essays by Frederick Bastiat, including an amazing one called Things Seen and Things Unseen, which mentions the uh, problems with war and uh, other things and how it doesn't stimulate the economy. And this guy was from the 1850s, so, uh, well, before that. But um, he, he was just an amazing economist. So uh, part of uh, fighting for liberty in, here in Indiana is going to be us uh, fighting to educate young people. Um, I'm the founder of Young Americans for Liberty at uh, IU Kokomo. Now I go to IPFW taking math classes. Uh, Nathan Murphy is going to be back there. He actually brought the books because I forgot mine in Fort Wayne. And uh, he's in a cowboy hat. So if you see a guy in a cowboy hat, that's uh, Nathan Murphy. He's from Purdue, Young Americans for Liberty. And um, yeah, feel free to come over and send up for email and uh, other updates and network with us. <laughs> 